What's going on guys, MG here and I'm back with another cryptocurrency video. This time we'll be diving into some XRP. So disclaimer, I am not invested in XRP. I was a while ago but not so much anymore. I am doing this objective uh, technical analysis just to see what the fuck is going on exactly, okay? Because this this pump has been pretty magnificent, and I just want to give a shout out to the XRP Army and XRP holders. Congratulations. Uh, truthfully, I wanted to scope, scoop up some XRP during the FUD only if, only if XRP hit below 10 cents, which it did not, because the XRP Army did not allow it to hit below 10 cents. So anyway, enough of that bullshit, and let's get into it. Before we do that, we can see that XRP is literally flirting with a dollar. I know it hit a dollar, you know, when I was asleep, but we will, uh, we'll, we'll see. So first things first, you know how I do it here. Let's take a look at the monthly. Okay, as we can see here, we had the bottom of XRP printed around i think it was like around february march yeah march 1st that was probably the very beginning of the fud i mean again guys all the news articles are out there um i don't know the exact date of when the shit happened because you know crypt you know crypto time dilation man one day in here is like 10 years in the real world so we can see here that the bottom was confirmed at 16 cents okay and then we got the trend reversal here Okay, and oh, actually, wait a minute. This was actually the 19 bottom. Okay, so we fast forward here to the trend reversal, trend reversal in December, and then this is when the uh, SEC FUD started happening. Okay, and then people start to realize, like, hey, wait a minute, I live in Italy. Why the fuck am I dumping over United States SEC? And we can see here that. We're back on the uptrend and a green confirmation on the monthly was printed. So that is fucking bullish as fuck as far as I'm concerned. So we look at the weekly. Same shit, boys. You know what I'm saying? Good money flow index. VWAP is fucking going hamburger here. We got a bullish candle with a yellow triangle. And as well as the all EMA ribbons are looking bullish and beautiful as well so here's what's gonna happen i think uh we will probably print a top here possibly in in may okay somewhere around may maybe may 3rd 4th 5th somewhere around there around here is what i think that we will pr that xrp will probably print the top and then probably go down okay just like you, you you guys know the routine like there's got to be a nice correction, you know, a healthy correction, because this is this is huge. So the weekly is looking bullish. Let's go to the one day. Again, goddamn, the one day is looking gorgeous. Okay. Two bullish candles printed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five bullish confirmations. Good money flow index. Again, it's probably going to print a top here pretty soon. Um... Let's see. If I were to guess, maybe Monday or Sunday or Friday, it might print a top here. Who knows where XRP is going to go, guys? Because in the last bull run, this fucking coin almost hit four bucks. Okay, so in the last bull run, in the in the specifically the 2017 bull run into 18, the damn coin went almost to four dollars. Okay, so that's really good. Now. Yeah, it's running pretty damn hot here. Okay. Uh it topped off. That wick went all the way up to dollar ten, guys, a dollar ten. So if you were to get into this trade, if I were to get into this trade, I'd probably wait for a confirmation, okay? Or unless if you are really confident in XRP and its price action and you'll just buy in and sell higher. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you to make that decision. I am not a financial advisor. So Let's peep the four hour again. The four hour is just looking pretty damn insane. We had two 
bearish confirmations here, but I don't think XRP cares because look at these look at these EMA ribbons. They're looking good. However, as I say that, we had a top confirmed. Okay. So what may happen is we may not even print a bottom. We might actually just print more positive peaks. And I say that just because if you look at this since March 27th, at least in the four hour, it's just been bullish as fuck. Anchor, anchor wave to the upside, one, two, three, and four. Can it keep going? We don't know. I mean, shit, if I had the crystal ball, I wouldn't be here, right? Same with you. So we'll just have to see. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might print a bottom here, okay, and then rip back up, or it might just keep going. We don't really know. I mean, hey, if XRP is going to be bullish, that means all the other top 10, top 20 coins are going to be bullish too. So that's going to be great for our portfolios, right? So, yeah, the 4 hour is just looking really crazy. So that's looking good. So let's go to the 1 hour. 1 hour is looking pretty damn good as well too. EMA ribbons looking bullish. There's no visual indicator that it's going to be crossing, which indicates a sell. This freaking trend is just looking pretty damn crazy right here. Okay, I guess we'll draw some stupid ass channels here, right? Let's see, it's got to be straight, guys. Ah, let's just cut into that, right? Pretty decent channel, okay, for XRP to follow. Up to it's looking like dollar fifty, okay. So let's look at the money flow index here. One bottom was printed on the third. That would have probably been a good opportunity to buy. Okay, if you were to buy that bottom there, what what is that? 60 cents? 58 cents? And now you'd be you'd be up, okay, obviously. So we'll see. This is looking it's looking like we might print to the downside here. Again, higher peak, lower peak, downside action. If you, if I were to get into this trade, that's probably what I would wait for. I would wait for the uh, local bottom to print. And then again, let's go into the 30. Okay, so the 30, let's get rid of that. It's, oh, wow. Okay, so it's looking like, it's looking like a bottom was printed there? Interesting. Yeah, I would probably wait. I'd probably wait maybe a couple hours here if I were to get into this trade here in the 30 minute. But look at this. It's looking like it's going to be maintaining that channel. Let's check out the 5 minute. 5 minutes definitely getting a little bit more dirty, you know what I'm saying? So, trend reversal. Again, this is the 5 minute. So deep anchor wave followed by a shallow one and then the upside is probably going to print down. It's probably going to complete if I were to assume. I'd probably be in this trade for a couple hours if I were if I were to do it in the five minute. It's probably going to print that, possibly another lower anchor wave and then to the downside and then back up again because you know how you know how crazy the five minute and the one minute is. Um, that's my guess on what the fuck's gonna happen in terms of XRP in the in the five minute. It's probably, mm, yeah. If I were to really, if I were to do some scalps or get in on this trade, I'd probably do the lower time frames. Okay, but it depends. It depends on what you're into. You know, if you're into this coin, you're into this coin. If not, then uh, spend your money elsewhere. Me personally, uh. I'm not going to get into this trade, so any XRP heads out there or any people who are interested in XRP, I hope that this video will help you in your decision making. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. You need to make that fucking decision yourself. Uh, this is just my observation on this coin. Uh, final observation, I, I, I'll i say bullish, okay. I'll say bullish, but then again, you know what I'm saying, this XRP is just going, it's getting hot, okay. I think just people are just excited that uh, XRP won the court case. So 
people are just buying okay and then once xrp gets relisted on all these other major exchanges we may see even more action to the upside i'm gonna say probably xrp is gonna rip to like five five bucks you know which is great for xrp holders um but yeah uh that is my technical analysis on xrp okay uh hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, i will see you guys in the next video later